We have announced the release of Red Hat OpenShift test spaces, but it hasn't been released yet. So we're gonna see how you can uh, try it out, even if it hasn't been released. So first of all, uh, let's uh, deploy a cluster. I have a, an OCP 4.10 cluster uh, deployed here, and you can go on the operator hub section and look for uh, code ready. And once you have that, you see that you have uh, two tiles here. So there are two operators. One is the stable one. So the, the left one, this one is the one uh, that is uh, the, the GA, the stable one. And the one on the right uh, side is the technical preview. So we're gonna select the technical preview because it has the, it uses the same technology that are used by OpenShift Desk Spaces. So let's uh, select that and just click on install. Uh, we'll leave all the defaults and we click install again, and that will uh, install the, uh, the operator of the technical preview. Okay, the operator is installed. So I will click on view operator and I will uh, just click on create instance here for um, the code ready workspaces instance specification. Just click here, I leave the default here as well. I click on create again and the um, instance has been created. So uh, now I need to wait that uh, all the resources, all the images are pulled and all the operands are uh, actually started. Okay, so the installation is completed and I can see the URL for CodeReady workspaces. So I just click here, open a new tab, and I can see the uh, CodeReady workspaces dashboard and I'm ready to use it. So that's it for, for the installation. Now, before uh, concluding the, the video, I would like to mention a few things. First of all, is that I would like, so you should avoid um, to install the tech preview on a cluster where there is already another instance of uh, Quadrate Workspaces or CHE because it will fail. So just install it in a cluster that, where there is no Quadrate Workspaces or CHE already. So second thing is that, um, it's uh, Chase not it's Codeway Workspaces is not deploying a key clock anymore. It for authentication it uses OpenShift directly. Uh, so you, you you have seen that when I click on a link, I didn't add to authenticate again because I was already authenticated as cube admin uh, on on the cluster. And yeah, and the third thing is that uh, you will be able to use uh, Codeway Workspaces and in the future. Um, dev spaces with cube admin. That's something that was not possible before because we were uh, using key clock that uh, didn't consider it as a valid user. Uh, so that's it for the video. So I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, have fun.